So I'm at this bus stop waiting on a bus. It comes, I step on, I walk toward the back, and I sit down, and I look two seats ahead of me, and I notice this strange fellow. I barely noticed him past the seat because he was bent like bald, like a roly-poly. My man's was face down, chest down, like... Like, so slouch, he probably had no clue what was going on around him. He looked magnetized to his phone. I looked at him like, dang, is he gonna, is he gonna come up for air? Somebody go check on him. So, Johnny, what did you end up doing? I did what any of you would do. I sat up most straight, because I ain't trying to end up like him. Fast forward to today, and that guy may have known something that I didn't know. This study says, generic public health messages to sit up straight to prevent neck pain needs rethinking. This next study breaks down posture in a way I've never heard before with three important pieces. Afferent and efferent pathways, gravity, and the environment. Let's break this down because sitting in one spot within 45 minutes, we might change posture four or five times without even noticing. It's automatic, just like blinking. Afferent and efferent pathways are just pathways from a stimulus to a response. For example, you may begin to experience muscle pain in your butt from sitting too long on a long road trip. So you hit one of these, you know, when you kind of sit on one cheek. Pain is the stimulus that sends a signal through the afferent pathway to our control center, our brain. The brain then sends a signal down the efferent pathway, and the response is to switch up posture. Gravity. The study we're looking at states posture represents the body's reaction to the force of gravity. It amuses me to think that our body just be out here trying to do its best under the constant, unmovable law of gravity. Like, we don't be falling over. What? We be standing upright and stuff. Like, that's crazy. Environment. If I'm highly intrigued by a movie plot, I might lean forward. If I'm camping and it's a cold night, I might curl up. The study we're looking at states the ultimate purpose of posture is the maintenance of equilibrium. Research shows that the number one threat of pain from posture alone is prolonged posture. It's really, posture is just a position. The problems start to occur when we hold the position for too long. But even more important than posture selection is the health of our centerpiece of our posture the spine. Walking, lifting, playing sports, doing stuff, activities, exercises, all that good stuff is going to make your spine resilient. Therefore, you'll have more trust in yourself when your body wants to go into a slouching position. You know that your spine's all good. So if you want to be extra slouched on your phone, you know, that's fine. Just come up for air every now and then. Like, I was really concerned about my man's like, go, go check on him. Like, like, make sure his lungs got room to expand.